Uh, hello, YouTube. We're trying out another deck with one of the new mini set expansion cards. And it's literally just a single solitary card. That's right, it's nothing's impossible. So this is like, oh, is it called Soul of the Forest? I always forget card names. Which is a four mana card that turns all your minions into 2-2 two -two Trients when they die. It gives them the Death Rattle moniker. This is two mana cheaper. And the only re restriction is it goes into Demons and Murlocs. Hey, would you look at that? My entire deck is full of demons. And the one non-demon in here is a fucking Murloc. Okay, Rafam isn't a demon. The bartender's not a demon. There are a few cards in there. But mainly, we're going to hit Imps. And that's going to mean my board is very sticky and hard to remove. And if I can get a sticky board, we can hopefully get Vile Library popping. And we're just going to, you know, smack people down. Uh, I've not run a hybrid variant. I think this Nothing's Impossible is better in the non-hybrid variant. In fact, having, having looked at my hybrid Imp Warlock deck, I couldn't find a way of fitting it into it. So we've gone for pure Imp Warlock. I've seen some other variants of this deck where they run, like, you know, the Giants. I don't think you need to. I think you can just run all these pretty cheap Demons, cheap Imps. Just throw a lot of stuff on the board and just race them down. The only card I'm not entirely certain on is Voidwalker. I just like to have turn one plays in this deck because it is an aggro deck. And I found without the Voidwalker, you don't always have a great turn one. I did consider putting Devourer of Souls in here as well, but I think that is too extreme just to pick up the Death Rattles of a No Fins Impossible. But maybe there were some, you know, fun shenanigans that could be done with there. The other cards that I was looking at were Slinger and Touch of Natharazine. Touch isn't really as aggressive. The Sling is pretty aggressive, but you're not a demon, therefore I've said no. Anyway. I, I'm not going to predict a score because my computer has been having big unhappy times literally over the last like 20-30 minutes. So the game might just crash. You may never ever see this, at least today. So I'm going to go for the usual seven games. That's my intention. However, if my computer explodes and crashes between now and then, we'll go till my computer explodes and we'll revisit this deck. I will say one issue that we're going to run into is there's an awful lot of shamans out there. Hello, new cards. There's a lot of shamans out there. <laughs> I, I say that, you know, this is great new card. We're very unlikely to be playing it on two, so I'm actually going to mulligan it. But yeah, shaman is insane right now. It's like the number one deck. And it's kind of like the control variant of Evolved Shaman. So, that's going to cause us problems. Also, there's a lot of Blood Death Knights running around. And they're also a control deck. So, it might not be a good time right now to play playing aggro. Alright, turns out I'm going to push the button on two. And all we can do right now is put so much pressure on Shaman. That even if they get their big combo wombo off, they still can't do anything after it. Like, we can just trade it off the board. That's the dream right now. We have had, like, one of the worst starts I've seen, but... Molecular, we might be able to get a zero mana discount if we're lucky. Okay, this is the big Shaman deck. I see. Goodbye, Imp. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Double trade into a librarian and then start trading my shipments. Damn it, if I trade. Hmm. If I traded first and got the no things impossible, I might have done a different play there. Uh, hello, Inji. Nothing much. Honestly, pretty good. I say I'm pretty good. My computer is exploding right now and I don't know why. Get a null. Okay, that's Darius. We've lost. Now you're yeah, I do, Ingem. Where Warzone is free. I, 
I'm not going to waste everyone's time with that game, by the way. That is not impossible to beat, but I think you'd have to be Blood Death Knight to kill it off. Yeah, I'm aware it has a multiplayer as well. I think I see where this is going. Honestly, though, the answer towards where you're, you know, you're taking me, I'm not super interested in playing Warzone at all. I'm not a big, and I assume you mean, like, the Battle Royale mode. I'm not a big Battle Royale enjoyer. Probably because mad because bad. That's fair enough. But I don't really like games where you basically just get one shot and, you know, that's that. And also... I mean, I guess in Warzone, they fix the problem that... Like, PUBG had that if your team... Like, you died, sorry, and your team was still alive, they would keep going and you're just sat there watching them. Because I know in Warzone you can get people back up again, right? Going to the Gulag and stuff. But, I don't know. I will admit, I've never played Warzone. But, based on the experience of PUBG, I just wasn't that interested. Uh, I think I just played the shipment here. I might play Nothing's Impossible on 2 this time. We'll see. I assume by 35 health druid, this is going to be ramp druid. The sea floor be its own oh, you scumbag. I'm going to greed a little bit more here. Sorry, we don't have any ink. I should also mention Inji, by the way. <laughs> I added you to my Phoenix point squad. I don't think you were in the the stream at the time, so please do your best to protect humanity. This will be backbreaking for Druid, by the way, if I get the Nothing's Impossible combo off next turn. They're probably going to trade out an imp again with the hero power, is my guess. Still could do it. Don't do it. Don't find the, the swipe equivalent. Okay, the thinking, which is always a good sign. That's fine. Annoying, but fine. Give me a cheaper than two mana demon, please. <laughs> Never mind. Should I play two copies of this? No, I shouldn't. That's the way around I should do it. Good luck, Druid. I have a very sticky board now. I don't have a buff, I will say that. But look at these little imp blocks. How adorable are they? I thought it was a bold choice to use, you know, Ray Romano from Everybody Loves Raymond as the, the model for it, but hey, it's really played off. In DMZ, there's only a handful of teams far away from each other, and the rest are bots, and the only one-shot is the Juggernaut. Yeah, you say that, but if there is a one-shot, I will find it. <laughs> and it will constantly happen to me. Mm, I think we get a Librarian on the board, and I float too. Hopefully no guff and five. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. This is 
probably... Actually, it's probably draw two or gain two mana. I'm going to get the ramping this turn. Yeah. Man, I really need the bartender. Bartender or library? That's not bartender or library. Nor is that. This is really fucking annoying. You can keep your 2 1. <laughs> After all this aggression, we're still on the same life point total. They have spammy. I was actually punished. They're gonna full board clear because of Imp Gang Boss. I can't believe that. I mean, I can, but. All right. I have a board again. Please, no more spa. Actually, spam me wouldn't be that good here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. They done goofed. They needed one extra mana. Do I have lethal? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will give an imp six, six at sixteen. I'm four off lethal. I think we do a mixed approach where I take that guy out. Shouldn't have used the 3-1, that was dumb. And I just leave him in this position. If they can find 5 extra damage to me... Well, I guess, including the hero power 4. Well done. They've definitely got five armor in hand. So I think the only way out of this is taunting. Yeah, EJ, I'm not that interested in Warzone, to be honest with you. Twelve, seventeen, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Bartender, we got it. Finally, those. Little scared bartenders. They're shy. Honestly, EJ, you can keep recommending games, and I'm okay with that. But there's so many other games coming out in like the next week or so that I want to check out, so I I'm probably not going to go back and play something else, especially since I'm doing Resident Evil 3, and I might try and do 4 soon afterwards because the remake of 4 is coming out soon. And I want to play 4 before the remake comes out, so... I think on my list are a few games that are coming out within the next week. Then, finish off Resident Evil 3. 
do Resident Evil 4, which I don't know how long that's going to take. Plus playing a bit of Hearthstone, honestly. I haven't played it for a, a little bit of time. Hmm. That's a pretty good hand, actually. I might also have Far Cry 4, for that matter, now that I think about it. Oh, Pirate Warrior. How exciting. Interestingly, it's 35 health Pirate Warrior, but sure. Uh, how do I want to do this? Let's save the coin for next turn so I can finish Circle on turn two. And then we can look for a Catastrophe Library maybe on three. But this is Aggro v Aggro. Probably. As I said, they're running 35 health, so maybe it's Control pilot, Pirate Warlock? I have no... Warlock. Warrior. I have no idea. In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. I think Coin Circle is just the right play next turn. Still. Alright, I'll just get roped on turn one, why not? Hmm, does that change anything? No, I don't think it does. A really good catastrophe potentially coming up. You know, as well, just in case, you know, people want to see themselves in this game. Let me move my camera down a little bit. There you go. Okay, Mistake. Actually, Mistake would have been a pretty good option for this deck instead of Void War uh, Voidwalker. Hmm. Because it's both a demon and a murloc. But I think Voidwalker, I mean, Voidwalker has taunt on top of it. There's no real benefit for me for having a, a dual class minion, right? Right, let's get drawing. I will do a double trade here. I'll leave Mistake on the board because I can't take it off anyway. Next turn, my imp is ready for action. I'm feeling pretty good, honestly. <laughs> I will say as well, I didn't draw any of my buff cards again. Didn't get rid of farm. The two bartenders. Uh, I guess nothing... Nothing impossible either now. This is kind of like a pseudo buff just by making the board really sticky. Glory. I'm here for the show. All right. That's some good aggression. What do you think about this aggression, though? You're playing Pokemon Moon. Uh, how are you enjoying it? Because I hear a lot of people... It, it's Gen 7, right? People shit on that Gen 7 game. I played Sun, and I kind of enjoyed it. I don't think it was the best game, but I, I really, I probably have the, I was going to say, my least favorite, I always think, want to say Pokemon like Black and White. I didn't really enjoy that generation. I think it had some of the, 
I think there were some good designs in there for Pokemon, but I think it had generally some of the worst ones. But actually, I would go with Gen 8. I think Sword and Shield was pretty garbage. I also played through recently while I was feeling unwell, Pokemon Emerald again. And that game has not aged well. Let's see what they do here. Interesting. They put a viewed axe in their deck. But they have absolutely nothing now. So you know what? Against all logic for this deck, I'm going to fucking trade. Don't catastrophe you'll overdraw right now. Just go really wide. Kind of an interesting idea for the deck to have an imbued axe in there. Okay, I guess that was right. It's now a 7-5. That's going to be back-breaking for you. Imp. My board is now sticky. I don't think I trade everything, though. I think I leave the three two up. There's a hacker in the GTS training. Okay. By the way, we overdraw a card, but who cares? I have basically every single card that I need right now. Next turn is probably bartender library, and that might actually be lethal. Uh, we have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, plus 12, 22. So yeah, it is lethal. In fact, it's more than lethal. In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. Set sail! The is Don't think that helps you. Also, very weird trade. I'm pretty certain this is still lethal. Thanks for the achieve gain. And we're two and one now. I, I will say it's pretty nice playing, you know, super aggro decks. Just because you get through games faster. You know after like turn five or six if you have a chance of winning it or you're just guaranteed to lose it. Mage? I feel like we have a chance. They... Probably are going to be a box deck. Oh, do you keep Rafarm? We definitely don't keep both Rafarm and Tamsin. I don't think we keep Tamsin. Honestly, I've considered taking Tamsin out of this deck. But I've left it in. I think you still get rid of Rafarm here. I don't think you keep it in your hand. Maybe I'm wrong. I think you've had a good turn one play. I would have kept it. What am I doing on two if I play Bloodbound Imp? Probably nothing. Okay, I, I think this is better. Good three into four play. And who doesn't love a good 
bit of foreplay. I have huge respect. I think this is arcane mage. Or it's rando mage. It's a pure randomness. I hope it's pure random deck. Because this means that Adobe, he's just having a fun time. There is actually just an arcane deck out there though for mage. Where you just try and destroy people with arcane bolts. But I don't think they run this submerged space rocks. I'm pretty certain they're going to be running the meme cards. Like the... Is it called Time Terror or whatever it is? That gives you cards of the past. I really want to play a mage deck with that in it. Even though I know it's a bad card. Alright, turns out it's Elemental Mage. Uh, do I... F do I circle... Yes. And I think I, I coin Imp. I think I just put all the pressure on them. If it is just pure arcane cards, which I'm not sure it is actually, they probably don't have control options. Fuck you. Stop freezing me. Well, they're not going to get any va well, unlikely to get value off this now. You drew last, effectively. Stop okay, one minion dead. That is fine. So I think we sack a minion to basically clear their board. Attack with it first, genius. And I think this is despair. We have an infused imp now. We're just gonna keep putting on pressure after pressure after pressure. This is elemental mage. Why? What is the payoff for this? Is there a payoff for it? Oh my god. Please no. Well, you didn't insta pick, so it can't be that grand. Holly, I have so chaos. Fuck, it's actually pretty good. Pretty goddamn good. Okay. Hmm. Not what I'm after. Alright. Uh, do I want to kill this thing to give them some arcane bolts? Not really, but if I don't, this isn't living. And I think I'll protect the two twos behind the one ones, just in case they get the the card that does like five damage to all minions that aren't Ysera. I'll still have a board then. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> he was determined to kill everything then, which makes me think he's got the five damage to all. Do I care that you have a one, two on the board right now? I don't think I do. I'll put you out of range of five damage to wall and just start hitting you in the face. They might have another bounce card, but even the bounce isn't the end of the world here. Flurry. Well, I'm lucky. 
Insane, by the way. You got a Drake. Unfortunate. But Adobe, I have respect for you and your software. You were trying to have a good time then. And I ruined it by playing fucking aggro imp warlock. Like a real scumbag. Apologies. At some point I will... I, I probably will try and do some sort of mage deck like that. Like a really fun one where you just discover cards and... Be the thing I hate most. Winning the game by discovering cards. But I would definitely put Time Tear in it. Or whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Right, if this is Ramp Druid, in theory we win. Not a great start. That's better though now. And it isn't Ramp Druid, I think. Because they only have 30 health. Is it aggro druid? Oh, they didn't do anything on turn one, so it can't be that aggressive. If I can draw into the three mana summon four imps, we'll be cooking. But basically I have to draw into that card for this to be a good opening. I'm now also wondering, is this possibly... Oh. <laughs> it's a rogue. I think the... The mill druid is also only 30 cards, right? Piss. Okay, we get Rafarm. There it was. It's still okay. They've had a pretty slow opening. Hit me in the face, why not? Why not? Let's draw first. The question is, do I buff a minion here? I think I do. I think that's more annoying for Rogue. There are concoctions they can get to deal with this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god, that's such a good card. Are you infused? Not yet. Uh, piss. Well, sacrifice is pretty good here. So I think we're going to go for that. One into zero into one into two into one but i assume this is ah uh, this is gonna be thief rogue that's a really annoying card for them to keep getting back through the contraband stash in fact, it'd be fantastic to play him now if they've got it. Yeah. Really good card. It's going to clear most of my board. Uh, I maybe should have traded first there. Yeah, maybe I should have traded first. Anyway. I just wanted to hit them in the face. To be fair, this is more threatening. How are they going to clear the A8? And if they do clear the A8, they've got another one, haven't they? They've got the other contraband stash. That's not going to save you, though. Unless you can freeze the last minion. It'd be pretty backbreaking for me though. The board cleared me like three times as rogue. 
I think it suddenly dawned on them that this ain't working. Also, I've just noticed, didn't move the scoreboard. Do you have five damage? Why is my scoreboard just slightly misplaced? It's annoying me. Oh. He was close. He was very close. Right, let me just put this in with the, the camera shenanigans so that they get moved together again in the future. Perfect. And just like that, that's five games down. It's always nice to know as well that you're going to go positive on the day. Well, since I play seven games typically. The worst we're going to do is four and three. Quick maths, by the way. Uh, this is a pretty good one-two play. So you know what? Let's send these back to the deck. It's a pretty good one-two-three, honestly, but... Rafam, much better to have in hand. And it's Control Warlock. It's Demon Seed Warlock. Interesting. By my trusty wooden spoon. No, don't coin trade. That's dumb. You don't need to right now. That's a pretty good coin. We don't have any ink. I'll take it. Why do you fall? We're really in a race here. I just don't want to get them into the late game. Trust me. Fine. I mean, there's only a certain amount of times they can just keep trading with me. I shouldn't trade the barkeeper now either, even though it's, you know, golden glowing. Because next turn I can play it. And that is a pretty good board to play on right now. That's another imp, please. You must be clearing this, right? Uh, that's not bad for them. I think it's... A situation now that we catastrophe first. Hope to draw a one cost minion. No. No one costs. Okay. Just keep the pressure up. Rafam coming next turn. I think Rafam is fantastic here. Uh, 
I will trade you. And that gives space for the Imp Gang boss to put another Imp onto the board. I was unfortunate. I say unfortunate. The odds were against me getting one of the Imp Gang bosses that died back onto the board. It would have been nice, though. Let's put it that way. And they're fishing for answers. Again, they got no value from the Shadow Blast. They're going to struggle to complete their quest. And now, despair. Like, how do you clear this now? Exactly. It's a sticky imp. What can you do about imps covered in glue? Nada. Nothing. You have to silence it and then clear it. And people aren't running the starfish anymore. It's very nice. Very kind of them to not run a starfish. Probably because they have to pick up, like, some sort of hard removal to try and deal with Shaman, but this is where we sneak into the, the meta. Okay, can we get revenge on the Shaman? That's what we're looking for here. Great turn one. I, I can't really complain about this opening right now. One, two, three. And probably Catastrophe, maybe Hero Power on four or something. We need to hit Shaman at far, far and fast. Uh, far and Hast. We need to hit them far, far and Hast. Because then if they do get this insane doll out, we have something that can fight it. That's scary. But will they use three cards, well, two cards in the hand to trade off a 1-3? Because that, that'd be a pretty big advantage for me if they do. They definitely don't want to use these fetch. In their brain, they're like, well, what if he buffs this? What if they're super aggressive? Uh, it really depends what's in Buyakasha. What's in his hand? If you've got the Null or something... Then definitely keep the card. And just let me do three slash five damage at max. Depending on what I had. Okay, it's big charming. Oh, fuck, they're gonna do it, aren't they? You're gonna make me miserable by getting a ten mana card on turn three. And I can't deal with the 10 mana card on 3, unless it's a null. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do a little bit of catastrophizing. And I just want minions on the board right now. Minions on the board. Big for me. Bartender's coming up next turn, and that means then I can deal with the evolution bullshit. Hopefully. Well, they might have some big boys coming. They did do two far sights. If it's the deck I think it is, they do have the two, sorry, the f normally five mana. All right, you're just gonna evolve my imps. Didn't get desk imps. Womp womp. But that's three murlocs. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm fishing hard for this card, you scumbag. All right. If I could have got them to death rattle into uh, imp locks, that would have been f fantastic. It's still fuel for a farm. How bad is your hand that you evolved my board or devolved it? Sorry. 
How do you have nothing? You need to infuse one more time. God damn it. All right, imp me. Oh, God. Wrong card. Uh, draw a card repeat, so this is draw four cards. That takes me to nine. That's acceptable. Job done. Okay, I'm feeling good. Ish. Right, they're going to evolve a sea giant. Why have you got sea giant in that deck? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, getting Thaddeus and then just winning. Right, Thaddeus has to die, obviously. Can I kill Daddius? You're running Totem Evolve Shaman. All right, I thought I'd seen it all. Turns out I have seen nothing. Is this enough? Vile Library... Vile Library Fiendish Circle. That gives me four imps. And then I have six on board. That turns this into a 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah, it's more than enough. Let me just kill Daddyus for a second. Then I think I sack a minion. Kill everything here. And you can keep an 8-6. Doesn't bother me. You're on 8 health. You haven't got an evolve thing up right now. And I definitely have 4 imps that have died this game now for Rafar. Yeah, they have to deal with it. What a weird deck. It is Big Shaman. Uh, that is lethal. I don't know what was going on there. I don't feel like that is a good deck list for Shaman, but let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. Maybe it's a fucking Giga Chad Shaman deck. But putting in some giants and the totems, just put a fucking null in there and a load of taunts to survive into the end game. Uh, you know what? We came up a little bit too quick. I'll run one more. Let's see if we can get the seven one dream. Uh, and then we'll end the stream and the YouTube episode. Fortunately, the computer seems to have <laughs> settled in the previous hour. Which has been great. Well, I'll, I'll have a fiddle again off camera. And try and fi figure out what on earth is going on right now. I, I said multiple times, I think my processor is on the, the blink, so... Wow, that's a really good start. I've even considered trying to stream off my laptop. So in case people aren't aware of my like setup at the moment, or even using my laptop, I have my preview monitor, which is a laptop, not an actual monitor. And in theory, the processor on my laptop is better than this one. I've also got another laptop, which again, has a better processor than this one. So I might run some sort of dual laptop setup, I don't know. Just to try and get around some of these issues, like Overwatch is just fucking dying on me when I, I stream and play it. Resident Evil 3 early just hard crashed and I couldn't fix it. Did you eat yet? I'm coming. 
I'll see though. I'll see how heinous it is. All right, I enjoy being turn one roped by Shaman. No, there we go. He, you know what? He had IRL things to do. It happens to us all, right? Nature called and he couldn't, you know, be bothered to wait for a one minute queue in the future. Less than a one minute queue, honestly. He's like, I'm going to queue up and go and pee. Even though the game will pop, guaranteed, before you get back. And I'll make this guy wait. This guy being me. Another carving chisel user. Do I care about the health totem? No. I don't. In the future, maybe, but for now, I don't. And I need to remember you're not a demon or a murloc, so actually nothing's impossible. Not very really good here. Library into a two-drop minion, if we can draw, like, another Bloodbound Imp or something. That's the winner's choice, or even a one-drop. Our choice to freeze. Well, that's a little bit annoying. So it'd be two imps on the board. This would take this to three health. If you want to trade them all in, do it. I want to put pressure on. You'd also have to trade your face into it right now. Evolution? Devolution? It must be Primordial Wave. Yeah. What did we get? We got two Murlocs. And they have got a bit of a, a poor roll as well. I say that. They've got some average two drops. Okay, gang boss me. Now, do I leave these up? I think you go. And then you go to the face. Just because then a one and a three would have traded the the boss out pretty pretty nicely. Also, I'm a bit worried about another wave coming along and taking them to three cost minions because then I'm pretty bad on the old tempo at that point. No, okay, they're gonna trade imps off the board. Makes perfect sense. Tempo Evolve? No, no Tempo Evolve. Right. Let me hit you and see what I get from the Catastrophe. That's pretty good. I'm a bit worried about the Devolve here. In fact, I'm a lot worried about the Devolve. Also, I miss out on an Imp. Hmm... I know that's what I'm thinking. Sorry, we don't have any ink. Let's do a mixed approach. And see what they do. I'm just worried about another wave coming in, taking all the stats off, like, you know, a really chunked up unit. That being said, if I got waved on a fiendish circle, it's not the end of the world. I'd still get four one ones out of it. All right here comes the the null play. Oh god, they're gonna get daddyus, aren't they? Nope, 
Twelve, twelve. Kind of surprised they didn't. They left my one one on the board. Okay, that's pretty fucking heinous right now. Uh, I can clear everything else off but the 12-12. I guess I just let the 12-12 go to face. Just to check again. Four, six, seven. Yeah, I can't kill it. However, if they can't kill me... <laughs> if they can't kill me... So they're looking for five damage. Then they have to be worried about my board. I might make the 12-10 trade into me. Nope, they're going face. Do they have lethal? Or would, did they just refuse to trade a 12-10 into my board? It might also be... I mean, they're probably looking for devolve here. It might just be that they don't have an answer to the, the sticky imps. Four, five, seven. Oh, you have gull. Oh, you have glug. One, two, three. Four. I'd have two imps up. I don't think Rafam does it for me. I think I need... I think I'm missing lethal by two. Don't do it to me. Damn. I didn't have it. Now you're uh, if I got kill a minion, do two damage to all enemy minions, I win the game. I'm 90% certain. Someone can do the maths on this and tell me that I'm wrong. I'm pretty certain that if I got refarmed, leveled up, I would have missed lethal by like, I can't remember what I said, like two or four or something along those lines. Because one of them wasn't an imp. The, the four three wasn't an imp. And I would have had to trade minions off the board to infuse him. It was really weird. It was like, I want to leave the one ones on the board, but I would need to use them to infuse. Because I'd like two minions to attack. I mean, anyway, it was irrelevant. If I get killed... In fact, I don't even know if I had it in my deck. I really need to put deck tracker on. If I did get the, you know, kill all the taunt minions at the same time, we we win that there and then. Anyway, so we went 6-2. and two. We lost against Shaman twice, the Evolved Shaman. Not a surprise, that Evolved Shaman deck is completely busted right now and will be nerfed in the near future, I assume. <laughs> anyway, uh, Salty Me is going to end the YouTube video here. So if you enjoyed it, why not leave a like, subscribe. Everything helps me out. Uh, why don't you give me a follow on Twitch as well, because that also helps me out immensely. Because uh, I'm trying to reach monetization goals right now, and you basically need you know, to have a certain amount of support. So even just tuning in you know, to a Twitch stream, typing hi in the chat, that's your charity work for the week done. You can feel warm and fuzzy inside. It's fantastic. Uh, I, I would recommend everyone does it. Anyway, thanks again for both YouTubers and Twitchers. I'll try and fix some internet, uh, sorry, internet computer issues, but... Who knows what's going to happen? I don't know what's exactly going wrong. If it gets too bad, I will I will address the situation. Tomorrow there's no stream. 
or I don't plan to stream, but you never know. I also missed the stream because of illness. Maybe I'll try and get a sneaky little bit more Hearthstone or something like that in. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.